Good morning everybody from Greeley, Colorado, Rush Truck Centers. Uh, it's Keith Couch. I just got a quick little tractor here that I thought I'd throw on. Just kind of neat. Uh, beautiful color, legendary red. It's a 2021 Peterbilt 367 uh, day cab. Single rear axle. Just a little tractor used for hustling things around town and a little bit of a sloped nose. Very traditional look, the external air breathers, and absolutely beautiful color. She is just gorgeous. Legendary red, one of my favorites. Let's see if we can. Heavy, heavy metal flake in this thing. Just beautiful. Fantastic color. This one's got 11 r 225s with the Peterbilt holes. Polished up, aluminum air tanks, all polished up. I believe this side's a 100. Oh no, this is a 80. 80 on this side, 100 on the other, but it's a split tank. Put the def tank behind the fuel tank on this one. It's a 12.5 front axle, 23,000 pound rear axle with 358 gears. Get the Bridgestone M770s back here, also 11R 225s. It's got the disc brakes down there with the diff lock. Holland fifth wheel. We did four load lights and then we did our CB antenna at the center of the back of the cab and the uh, radio antenna. Logger style is what they call that. With seven inch stacks up there. And on this truck, we do a 367 you'll know that that driver side stack that is aesthetic only so right here is where the DPF is and it all comes out goes straight up and straight out the top if you look across underneath the pipes not connected to anything I don't like it either but the way it is uh, air ride cab with a shock Catwalk. Um, so we got a 30 gallon hydraulic tank here. You can see the split right here. So that's solid all the way through. And then the rest is diesel. So they'll run a PTO with this. Got a shut off valve right here. So if you need to force fuel into one tank or the other, you can. It's a Cummins X15. 505 horse, 1650 torque, just a spring ride front axle, disc brakes, got the flat windshields twin or two-piece windshield on it makes uh, replacing the glass much less expensive than a one-piece get the pack our fuel filter it's a 505 1650 torque with a 13 speed and 358 gears Not, I mean, it's not a super fancy truck. It's just really good looking. And uh, just well thought out, well laid out. Nice interior. Rubber floor, so it's easy to brush out, easy to blow out. A couple of nice leather seats. And for a day, little day cab hustler, this is a very well thought out truck. Factory CB, no nav, we did not do the uh, Rosewood dash or anything like that. Oops. So looking down the hood, it's not the same as a 389, but she's close. Same cab, but they call the legacy cab. The PTO switch, 
air suspension, diff wheel, and diff lock. AM FM with Bluetooth, Airtail Cruise. I said the other day in my video, that's a since the thumb button's red, that tells you that's a 13 speed. If it was gray, it'd be an 18 speed. Power windows, power locks, just a nice I mean you you could spend the day in this cab just working. I mean it's just really comfortable. A good resale. Not the same resale as a 389, but still very good. I'm gonna leave it running because we're gonna take it and deliver it. But I just wanted you to see what we can do. We don't just do the the real fancy trucks that just run up and down the highway. So uh, Keep Couch, Rush Truck Center, Greeley, Colorado, Rocky Mountain Peterbilt here on YouTube, 970-691-3877, or you can email me, that's text or call on that one, you can email me at couchk, C-O-U-C-H-K, at rushenterprises.com, and uh, do me a favor if you would, trying to catch up some of these other channels, uh, just like, like this video and subscribe. We're trying to up our subscriptions here a bit. so And let me know if there's anything you want to see, anything you want to compare. Um, any questions you have, I try to try to get those put in there so everybody can see it. So just put that in the comments, and I will definitely try to do that. But appreciate you watching. Take care. Stay safe.